to June's edition of Spotlight on Downtown. I'll be your hostess today, Kim Post. Today we're starting out at the Nova May Cafe, and I'm excited to take you next door. All of you know that's junk, but we have a surprise for you. We did make changes like I promised. It went a different way, but I'm sure you'll be excited to see what's going on. Um, I'd like to mention that Nova May Cafe is still having the cupcake fundraiser. It will end June 30th, so please come down, order cupcakes, buy some vouchers, and we're trying to raise $5,000 by the end of June, and so far we're more than halfway there, so thank you to everyone who's participated. Um, I'd also like to thank all of my customers from Junk who came in and was concerned why I closed. Um, Meredy Capella, who we're about to meet, she decided she wanted to try to bring the community down and try to get them together for our different classes, which when we go next door, she'll be more than happy to tell you all about it. So come on, let's go. Hi, so here we are, we're at Evergreen Alterations, and this is my friend Meredy Capella. I'm very excited. Um, she's done wonderful things here, as promised. She has brought a lot of people downtown for um, crocheting classes and knitting classes. I know she does have a wide list of all of the activities that she would like to do here. Um, is that right? I have tons of classes that we plan for the future. I need everybody to come down and sign up for whatever they're interested in. And I will schedule as soon as we have enough people for a class. I was excited because when I own the shop, a lot of people do like to come here, did like to come here and buy ta things that were tatted. Um, they said that no one knows how to do it. When I saw it on your board one morning that yep. you wanted to offer that, I think that's great. So I think it's something that I think is coming back and, and we have a lot of interest in it, surprisingly. And I'd love to have a class down here for it. It's a type of lace making. Now you had a um, knitting class mm -hmm. that I attended. I was more of a jokester than someone trying to learn how to knit, but <laughs> it was a beginner class and you did have some other ladies who just wanted to freshen up on their skills. They came in with a lot of different levels of knowledge, um, most of which had no knowledge whatsoever, and then others um, had some, and it was a matter of jump-starting them and getting them off on a project again. Yeah. Which, and then all of a sudden everyone was helping each other and some days you stayed a little bit longer and you had... I think every night we yeah. stayed a lot longer and it was fun that everybody wanted to stay way beyond the allotted time frame and they just stayed and enjoyed themselves and they left when they were ready. Great. So. I know you can't see from here all the different things that she does have, but um, she does offer a lot of vintage material also. So for some of you who like to make vintage curtains or pillows and you just like vintage supplies, you have zippers and zippers by the yard, which I never even knew you can do that. Vintage buttons, tons of thread, um, zipper parts, parts and pieces for broken zippers, jackets and things like that. All kinds of old, um, pat old patterns. Old patterns. Lots of um, trims are available, new and used. Um, I have thousands of trims that are available that you order um, for whatever your project needs. But a lot of, you know, trims in stock and pillow forms and all kinds of things. Which I, what else I also like is that um, you are supporting local, I say local moms, because I feel like a lot of the mothers are coming in yeah. and they're bringing their beautiful crafts. I know you are um, picky on what you do have here. So you have beautiful sweaters, someone made, and dresses that are behind the counter. All kinds of local artisans have come out of the woodwork that um, have some really fantastic things to offer. Um, I have a woman who is doing knitted sweaters for infants up to 12 to 18 month sizes. They're hanging in my window. They're fantastic and they're, they're really great for, for kids. They have, um, I have one that's doing hand-turned um, seam rippers. His work is just gorgeous and um, I'm really proud of that. And he's doing it in some really rare wood. And um, another, I have a local librarian who's doing um, some sundresses for girls and um, all kinds of organizers and things. So all kinds of really fun stuff are on consignment down here as well. 
and really reasonably reasonably priced. I mean, a handmade, local made sweater for $22. Um, that's a perfect gift. Yeah. And, and she's just doing some really gorgeous stuff and she plans on bringing even more down in some larger sizes. I just wanted to show you one of those cute little sweaters that we were talking about. So they're $22 or two for 40. So make sure you get a whole list of all the kids in your life that needs a cute little sweater. So here's something else that I'm excited about um, because I just love to come in here and touch all the organic wool and knit and alpaca and all the natural things that Meredy has to offer here at Evergreen Alterations. So Meredy, you have taught me so much about all these wonderful things, the silk bamboo, the organic. Um, this, I think, is so unusual, stainless steel wool. It's stainless steel yarn, and it actually knits up like jewelry, and it's bendable, and um, it's really an exciting um, product that I'm dying to, to use a little bit more often. This is something that I'm really um, happy about. This is alpaca, and it's done by the alpaca company, and um, it's a, some of it's 100% alpaca, um, others, others are blended. This one is actually blended with tensile which is what gives it this really awesome sheen. And then this is Surrey alpaca, which is actually a higher grade of alpaca, and it's even warmer, and that's in a lace weight. But I have everything from organic cotton and organic wool um, to blended cottons and, um, and uh, felting wool, and I'm really excited. I'm trying to really focus on high-end yarn. So um, my, my selection is actually quite small, but it's really, really good high quality yarn and I have several new lines coming in. I've just gotten the silk bamboo in and I'll be getting a lot more alpaca in and um, just because the alpaca is doing so well and everybody seems to really enjoy it and I'm trying to focus my um, yarn on what the community is interested in so if you come in and you tell me you have an interest in a particular type of yarn I will do my best to find it and stock it for you. And these are all hand dyed, is that right? Every, there's no dye lot on these alpaca yarns because every single hank is different from huh? every other hank. And they're pretty amazing. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're really gorgeous. beautiful. And this is really great. Um, she makes little rewinds, so you can come in and just grab a couple of these. They're really inexpensive. If you have a child that you're trying to teach or a teen and you want to make a nice basket or a gift, um, she has wonderful holders for bamboo needles and all other types of needles that she does have. These are fruit wood, is that right? This, this line of needles is called Knit Picks, and it's a really great line. It's a, it's a fruit wood, so it's even nicer than bamboo. It's very soft to the touch, and the circular needles are all interchangeable so that you can make the cables any length you need. Um, or you can just use them as straight needles, but I have them in double point and I have them in straight needle and interchangeable circular. But I do have some bamboo and some standard Susan Bates products in too for people that like metal and bamboo. Nice. And you offer, you have sewing machines and you do do alterations. Yes, we do. Not only do I have sewing machines, but I have a lot more machines that are going to be coming in and we offer sewing machine repair. And that part of this business is going to be expanding significantly in the near future. Um, right now we can service pretty much any machine, um, but that is um, going to really grow soon. So stand by for more details on that. But um, we will be doing, I do alterations out of here as well. And um, anybody who had had me as their seamstress before, I am still doing alterations and I'm available Monday, Tuesday, Thursday down here. You can walk in now, no need for an appointment like I used to. Um, just come on in and bring your things and we'll get it going for you. On Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but you are open seven days a week. I'm open seven days a week and the cafe hours are my hours. And um, if Because she loves me so much. And actually, Kim loves me so much. <laughs> but you can come in through the cafe and, um, and you know, wander around and, and look through my trim books. If you have a project going on, you're welcome to take my trim books into the cafe, have a cup of coffee, and look through oh, the books. Oh, and knit on our community oh, and blanket. Oh, knit on the community blanket. That's a fun thing that um, Kim came up with. It's actually done with my Rewinds yarn, or you can bring in your um, ball ends, too, if you'd like. And what we have is a blanket we've started in the cafe. While you're eating and chatting and, and, and 
you know, just generally sitting around. You're welcome to knit a few rows on the blanket. And when the blanket is complete, we're going to donate it this time around to the oncology department at Southwest Vermont Medical Center. But if you have a, um, you know, a particular group that you'd like us to donate the next one to, when this blanket's complete, we'll put the next blanket to, to that. And that's just a fun way, I think, of, of bringing our two businesses together. And um, but yeah, if you if you want to take the books, bring them in, have a coffee, relax. You can go through them at your leisure. If you want to knit a few rows on our community blanket, it's a fun way to get everybody involved in what I hope to be a community-based business. Tell me what you're interested in, and I'll do it. And now, for those of you who do know that the wall is open in between our shops, and for those of you who don't know, now you know. You can bring the books or whatever you like, just right through the wall. We have it open so you can shop while you're waiting for your lunch or um, you can do whatever you yep. like. Just very come relaxed, down. very informal. And I just want to emphasize that you do sewing machine repairs because a lot of people, they have come in and they see the little sign on the register and they look at me and they go, huh? She does sewing machine yeah. repairs. I think the most fun about that too is that even if somebody isn't going to take a class or they're not sure if they want to take a class, they can just walk in on a day that I'm around and if you need help with your sewing machine and you just have some questions, I'm happy to help. Um, I'm talking with some people now about doing some private lessons that um, just to kind of fine tune the sort of things that they're interested in doing. But um, I think the next uh, class I'm probably going to host is going to be sewing machine um, basics. And now, how many people do you need for a class? I'm, I'm looking to keep my classes really tiny because I want everybody to feel like I'm working with them directly and I'm answering their specific questions. Uh, I really don't want my classes to exceed eight people. And with sewing machine basics, I might even have a little bit smaller. Um, but that's probably going to be the next one and I'm going to ask people to bring their sewing machines in a couple days early so that I can go through and make sure their machines aren't broken and that I know how to work their machines so that when they come in for class we can really gear the class toward learning um, and, and have it be fun. And that's actually what I think the focus is in the class is we're having a lot of fun. Well, I think learning. the focus is that um, they get to eat treats from yes. Nova Me yeah. Cafe. All, all, of the, all of the food and treats at my classes are all supplied by Nova Me. So if I can't bring you in, Kim can. <laughs> now, I do hear a lot of the teens, they want to learn to sew. So if they have a group of friends, yes. maybe now that the summer's coming, yep. they could create their own class. And, and you can go right on my website and sign up for classes. And if you don't see a class that's listed, tell me what you're interested in. And I'm happy to just compile a list of whomever. And um, as I have enough people, I will host a class. But it's a lot of college students as well, too. They like to pick up clothes from um, the local Goodwills and they like to make them into designs that are their own and they're mm -hmm. original. So, um, yeah. But you do not do quilting. I do not do quilting. Yeah. And, um, and I'm not doing any embroidery out of my store as far as um, doing cross stitch and things like that. I'm really focusing on um, high end yarn, high end fabric, and classes. Well, I think you're doing a really great job and I'm happy to have you. <laughs> It's a good relationship. It's working well. Yes. So um, we're going to close up here, and I'm going to go over to my other friend's shop. We're going to go over to Bellissimo. Stacy has moved um, closer to downtown, so we're going to go take a look and see what she's done there, and maybe I'll even get a haircut. So we'll see you in a few. Thank you, Meredy. Thank you, Kim. So here we are, we're at Bellissimo Spa um, over on North Street, across from the Rattlesnake by 
Subway. So their hours here, they're closed on Sunday and Monday. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. So we know that they are here. So let's go in and see all the changes they've made to their salon. Hi, so I just entered into the spa and I found this loveliness here. I guess the girls are now, well before I introduce you to them, they're now doing lovely gifts and jewelry and accessories. Look at this gorgeous ring here. They just try to find a red one. Pocketbooks, I'm so excited. I can't wait to find out all of the things that they've added to their salon. It looks beautiful in here. Come on, let's go meet Stacy and Marie. Hi, so again, I'm Kim Post, and we're here today with Stacy and Marie. They're the owners of Bellissimo Spa. They used to be located um, down on Main Street, for all of you who remember, they were down towards the end. Now they're here, much closer to the downtown area. They are located across from Rattlesnake Cafe and also Subway. You can park your car in their parking lot. They are a full spa, so that just means that you do um, nails and hair. Yes. Now you have your boutique also, which is wonderful. You did a great job here. Thank it's really Thank beautiful and classy. Um, I could see myself spending the day here, um, having my hair done. Stacy does my hair when, when I could get out and yeah, have my hair done. done. <laughs> so I did mention your hours that you are just closed on Sunday and Monday. Is that right? That is right. And what is the phone number here? Um, it's four four seven two one eight two. Great! I'm so excited to show you how wonderful this spa has. Um, come out. It's really beautiful. I did show you all the accessories, which I'm dying to try on um, some of the things back there. So come on, let's go look and see what they've done to the spa. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Before, um, Marie, I did say to you that this was a lipstick holder. Do you want to explain what this is? This actually, my brother was uh, stationed over in Italy, and he brought this back for um, a gift for my father. And um, it actually is a cigarette holder, a musical cigarette holder. <laughs> because it was very classy to it's grab your yes. yes. cigarette. Well, my aunts used to stick their lipsticks in well, there. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Actually, and I think inside where there's a swan, there's a little hook in there. I'm not sure if it was for the stick matches, and you could like light oh, it on, yeah. you know, exactly. in there. Yeah. That's this is just one of the <laughs> lovely things here you could visit at Bellissimo Spa. So come on, let's go see what else we could find. So, Stacy thought it'd be fun to accent my curls while I'm here. Um, Stacy, these. This is called, I guess, a styling station? Yes, they're styling stations that my husband, Tony, and his crew did for us. They did all the construction in here, and it took about three weeks, um, and Marie and I did all the decorating. It's beautiful. I mean, the colors Thank are you. beautiful. I love how you mix the silver and gold and the ribbons. Right now, you can't see the beautiful columns. Um, that are beside me, but that just looks great Thank to walk you. into the other rooms. Um, it would be great for a bridal party to come here and just feel at home. I heard someone say cappuccino or espresso. Is that what yes, I heard? Yes, we serve um, different teas and vanilla and um, mocha uh, lattes or cappuccinos. Classy. Yes. Very so it's just classy. nice to be able to be pampered while you're here. Now, um, I've been so busy at work. Um, do you have any evening hours? We are open Tuesday and Wednesday evenings till 7 right now, and we'd like to try to add more nights Great. to our schedule. And, of course, you do children and men as well. We do. Great. Yeah. Hi, so I'd like to introduce you to Kelly. Kelly has worked at Stella Salon in Manchester, Vermont for the past eight years, and now we're lucky to have her here in downtown Bennington. I just want to say welcome to you. It's a beautiful spa that you um, chose to work with, and Marie and Stacy are really great people, so I hope your clients um, find you and they come down here to downtown Bennington. Yeah, I wish you luck. Thank you very much. And nice to I'm meet you. you. Yeah, great. So, along with one of the new employees, I also found Joan 
and Lori and Crystal. Crystal, you are new here with Bellissimo, mm -hmm. but the two of you um, came over with the move, is that right? That's mm -hmm. correct. And how is it going for you? We love it here. It's really Isn't nice. it great? Mm -hmm. So um, there is five working stations, so if you have a, a large party, you want to bring down um, a wedding party, these lovely ladies um, would be willing to do your hair and make you look beautiful like they're doing to this lady here. <laughs> so um, make sure you give Belissimo a call um, the next time you're having a party or you just want to treat yourself to a lovely day at the spa. So I was drawn over to this section because I saw all the products behind me and then I realized these lovely sinks Stacy can wash my hair from behind and it would be what a lovely experience. Stacy, could you come wash my hair, please? Right, so oh, this is these great. These things are great because they recline and that way it's more comfortable for the client. And we do use bedhead products, so we, what I would recommend for Kim is to do the bedhead brunette goddess shampoo. You heard that, right, everybody? Goddess. Because it would give you a nice shine and help your curls. So oh. do you want to do a shampoo? Sure, I'd love okay. to. This okay. is wonderful. Wow. And that way it's more comfortable. You know, I think this should be like added to the menu. Yes, just, to have just, the just to have the shampoo. So relaxing. You can massage my hair. You know, I'm improving your curls that we just put in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. Well, you'll have to see how my hair comes out if you come down to Nova Maid Cafe and you'll see the results of my hair. It. Well, thank you for having us here. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for doing it for us. You're welcome. So don't forget, make your appointment, treat yourself well, and buy gift certificates for your friends. <laughs> Hi, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be working on Kelly today. We're going to be doing a new shellac product. And we're going to remove your uh, polish first. We're going to do a dry manicure. And then we're going to do the shellac, curing it under the UV light for each layer. Okay. And it should last up to two weeks without any chipping. So, um, this looks great. This is the new nail treatment. And I also um, found out that you're going to have a lovely new pedicure room, which I'm excited about because pedicure is one thing that I really like to do, especially when I stand on my feet all day. Um, personally, I can't wear nail polish in the kitchen, but when I go to a special function, I will have my nails done, but I like to have a pedicure all the time, so I'm excited about that. So again, thank you for coming to Blissimo Spa. Hi, I'm John Shanahan, the Executive Director of the Better Bennington Corporation. I hope you enjoyed this month's show, and I'd like to thank Kim Post from Nova May Cafe for being the host of this month's show. I know you enjoyed getting to see the inside of Bellissimo, the spectacular new salon on Northside Drive, and meeting Meredy from Green Mountain um, Alterations, located right next door to Nova May. So Kim, thank you very much. I know you all enjoyed uh, seeing her exciting personality on uh, Spotlight. It's not the first time, it won't be the last. Um, but before we close the show, we'd like to uh, say congratulations to another merchant on down, uh, in the downtown district. Uh, that is Natasha Garter and her staff at the Crazy Russian Girls Bakery, who uh, it was announced today that she won the Employer of the Year Award from Weber for all the great work she does um, with uh, the community, um, bringing in underprivileged people or people with disabilities, uh, lifting them up and training them for a new profession. Uh, she deserves that award. If anybody who stopped into the bakery can see the staff that she has working there and all the work she does with those people. Uh, and even better than that, uh, news breaks today that uh, she's going to be moving the bakery. Uh, crazy Russian girls will be expanding. Uh, fortunately, they're going to stay in the downtown district. And pretty soon you'll see construction begin at the Old Star Electric site, which is in the Cone Building on Main Street. She's going to, to, to be moving into one of those spots. Uh, Skeeter Jelly, the property manager for the Cohen family, uh, installed new systems for heating and air conditioning and is going to be dividing the property up to um, accommodate two businesses. Uh, so Natasha and her staff will begin the move pretty soon. 
So keep an eye out for her expansion, uh, where she's gonna include some indoor seating, some outdoor seating, uh, some new products, uh, expand her lunch menu, and uh, of course her, her breads, which are keeping them really busy, and really the reason for their moving is because they now have such large orders and uh, many uh, wholesale orders. So again, congratulations to the Crazy Russian Girl Bakery, uh, Natasha, Matthew, and the staff. And again, thank you, Kim Post, for hosting this month's show and uh, for showing us all the new businesses downtown. On behalf of myself and the staff at the Better Bennington Corporation and Alicia Romack from uh, Legacy Images of Vermont, we'd like to say thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in July.